Hey, hey, everybody. Happy, happy chocolate for breakfast Saturday morning. Glad to see you all. It's been a little while since I've done chocolate for breakfast, so I wasn't even sure anyone was going to be here today, but I see Robin is in the chat box already, so so glad to see you. Thank you for joining me, and it's just been a crazy, crazy time, and I've been thinking about my channel and some changes I'm going to make on it, and so I've sort of been waiting to kind of go on here live with my chocolate for breakfast to tell you what's going on. So we will get to that. But first, I just wanted to say that um, we have some fun chocolates today. So one of the things I'm going to do um, going forward is rather than making chocolate recipes, I'm probably going to do that when, going back to when I first started the um, chocolate for breakfast. I kind of only um, tried different kinds of chocolates and I didn't make a recipe except for once a week. And so that's when I continued it was kind of on the weekends. But I decided to kind of just instead go back to the original roots and just try different kinds of chocolates. There's just so many amazing craft chocolates out there. And I think it'd be better to highlight some of the awesome chocolates that are going on around here rather than me making a recipe. And I love the recipe thing, so I still might throw it in once in a while. Um, but uh, I think this will be better for everybody because I'll be able to um, learn about new chocolates and all that fun stuff. Hey, hey, Jay, I see you in the chat box too. Yes, welcome, welcome. I was just saying it's been forever since I've done chocolate for breakfast. So part of the deal is I've been thinking about what to do with my channel. And the other thing I've been doing is I have been um, like a super, super jam packed, crazy month. I had lots of celebrations that went on. I was at a couple different retreats. As you know, I tried to go live from one of them, which um, the sound was terrible. <laughs> so apologies for anyone who watched that because I know uh, I had no idea that the sound was bad because my microphone, my, I think it was using these headphones that kind of like the sound keeps going down, like you'll turn it back up and the sound keeps going down. I didn't realize it until later. I'm like, that must be what it was. And uh, I went wine tasting with my mom and my sister. I had a birthday celebration. I had a big retreat with my chicks. So there was lots of stuff going on. And I just decided, you know, not to do the chocolate breakfast because it was just trying. I felt like I was being rushed and I was afraid that something like what happened um, when I was at pregame, I was afraid something like that would happen. So anyway, and Sherry, you're here too. Woo woo. It's a party. I love it. I love it. So, um, so yay. Let's um, look forward to more chocolate for breakfast. It's just going to be a little different, more celebrating craft chocolates. And I may even move them from the weekends because, um, because, because I think, you know, with summertime, it's just harder to get it done on the weekend. So we'll see. Um, I'll make a formal announcement about that soon when I decide, but. Uh, for sure, I'm definitely going to continue to talk for breakfast in some way, shape, or form because we got to have our pleasure first thing in the morning, right, guys? Uh, as I usually introduce chocolate for breakfast, that's what I talk about, which is um, I hope you're enjoying something you love, whether it's chocolate right now or you're in a babble bath or you are just snuggling up with a, a kitty cat or your gizmo, Robin, or whatever, right? So, um, you know, I would say that we got to enjoy our days all day long. And so that's one of the reasons why I have chocolate for breakfast and also to celebrate, celebrate all the awesome stuff that's happening in our lives. So if you guys feel so inclined to share what you're celebrating, please put it in the chat box and tell me what you guys are celebrating and I will share it with the audience. So, um, and since you guys are chatting, I'm just going to quickly see what else is going on. Cause I could, you know, without my glasses on, I could barely see that Jay and Sherry were here along with Robin. So let's see here. I love it. We got, um, Sherry's just saying that she loves to have chocolate brands as well. And that was Jay saying love chocolate brands as well. I love it. I totally agree. I think they need exposure. And, um, so yay. Awesome. Woohoo. So we'll get to celebrations in just a minute. Let's first talk about the chocolate. So today I, um, am trying this mushroom mocha mix from Four Sigmatic. So I've been hearing a lot about this mushroom coffee that they have. They have a regular coffee. And of course I had to go with the mocha because it's got the chocolate. But from what I understand, it has like really great properties that are like a little bit more um, uh, natural and healthy for you to kind of help keep you um, all these different like elements. Okay, I'm not even talking well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they have a lot of additional elements to coffee. And when you mix it with coffee, it's really good. And when you mix it with uh, chocolate, cacao, that it's even better. So this is like super, super food right here in this mix. So I have to admit that I did try one already. And what I will say is that I um, felt like it has like some instant coffee grounds along with the mocha and the mushroom. And I felt like it would be really a lot better just to buy their regular mushroom cocoa mix because that would be good mixed with some good coffee. So being a little bit of a coffee snob, um, 
the instant coffee grinds weren't my fave. But I thought it would be fun today to just take my favorite good coffee, which is my Nespresso um, Bold Blend, and then mix in a little bit of this with a little bit of my natural sweetener, which I use all the time. It's so good. If you guys haven't tried this, it's uh, um, basically a zero calorie sweetener that's made of, it's like derived from alcohol or something like that, but it's really, really good. And you can actually use this in recipes. And what's nice about it is it's not quite as sweet as sugar um, or as sweet as a lot of sweeteners, a lot of fake sweeteners, right? So um, it's kind of a natural way to go. So the um, mushroom, I love they've got this like really fun little um, tab that shows you how to make it, which is basically open the box, dissolve the powder in hot water and drink, right? It's like really fun. Um, but so it comes in little packets like this and you just mix it with eight ounce of water. And what I'm gonna do is I have some coffee ready to go. So I'm just gonna put in like maybe a third of this. You can kind of see how much I'm adding just to add a little bit of that cocoa flavor and get some of the awesome nutrients from the mushrooms and then add a little bit of sweetener. So um, let's get to this, let's see. Now, I will tell you a little bit about these guys. Um, I heard, the reason I heard about these guys is I heard a podcast. So they were on one of my favorite podcasts, the Skinny Confidential, the guy who started it. And he was hilarious. He was basically like, hey, you know, basically I go around and I find mushrooms and like I found like this amazing mushroom. And like he uses basically claiming that he discovers mush new mushrooms all the time that aren't named, um, that have these amazing properties. And so I think that's really funny. He was like, basically like, hey, this has got all these nutrients and all these awesome elements in these mushrooms. And they're a really great way to start your day. So, um, and some of his drinks are basically don't even have coffee in them. So if you just want the mushroom part and you don't want the caffeine, it's another great way to do it. So, um, so this is basically saying we combined our super popular mushroom coffee with the goodness of chaga and Criolla variety cacao to create a mushroom milk mix that delights and soothes the senses. And it says you can have it in the morning or the evening. So I don't think it has as much coffee, which is why I think it, it's actually great to mix um, with already made coffee. And it's made with 100% um, organic Arabia coffee. Um, and it includes um, some dual extracted chaga. So chaga, I think, comes from cacao, um, I'm pretty sure. And then it's also vegan, gluten-free, organic, and it's a great thing to put in place of your regular cup of coffee. So, um, and these guys are making all kinds of um, mushrooms and superfoods with their um, mushroom super blends, their mushroom elixirs, and they sell it in tins at home use or single serve packets like that one I'm showing you. And they say they love blending it with a hot cup of, cup, of, cup of hot water or milk or whatever you want. And there's actually a whole cookbook about their stuff. So I, that's kind of fun too. So anyway, I do think this is gonna work out great. I just have a feeling. Um, because I want like the real good coffee flavor with the cacao. So let's give this a super duper taste and uh, see how it goes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is much better, much better than um, having it by itself, just in my opinion. So I would recommend taking, if you want to try the mushroom and get the awesome goodness of the mushrooms, I would suggest buying, they have just a mushroom cacao cow, uh, hot cocoa, basically. I would get that, mix it with your coffees, which is what I'm going to do next time. Um, although I will say if you're traveling, right. And you like need some instant coffee or you're in a rush and you, or you, whatever, you just don't have access to a drip, good drip coffee or an espresso or something like that. This would be a good way to go. Right. Like this is like, I mean, it wasn't terrible or anything. It's just that I really love like the good coffee flavor. So um, that would be a good thing for you to take with you if you're on a trip or something like that. So anyways, all right, let's get the celebrations. So the first thing I'm celebrating today is I'm celebrating the month of June. It's been, like I said, super crazy, packed full of goodness. I've been like doing, besides my own personal fun stuff, I also um, spoke three different times at different events. I uh, did several workshops, including um, Write Your Site, which is one I just did last week, which is where I help um, clients write their whole website in one afternoon. We write the three main pages of their website. And I had the best time. Like, I just love doing those. It's so great. And um, led all kinds of other workshops at pregame and um, then did all kinds of client profiles. I had tons of website pages. Um, I started writing emails for a client that I'm just totally digging. It's super fun doing emails. I'm going to write like regular, like, 
two, three times a week emails to promote this workshop she's doing. So um, it's just been a super fun month and it's like, it's been so jam packed, but I just decided at the beginning of the month, like this is going to be super fun, but I'm also going to like, I'm committed to like helping people and like showing how I can help people. And that's what I decided to do. And it was super awesome. And so I'm so celebrating because it's the 30th of the month. Here we are at the end of the month. And like, I feel like I barely had time to breathe. And at first I thought I was going to like, I like the first week I thought I was going to die because I was doing stuff all day long but you know what you kind of get used to that schedule and you kind of figure out how to how to kind of leverage different parts of your day and so i would challenge you for anyone out there who's like i just can't do that it's just too much i was the same way i was exactly the same way but once i was like i'm committed to doing this i'm gonna try it for a month um and i just have to say like i got used to it and, I, and then i figured it out and how to, how to figure out make it easier basically so Highly recommend. Super fun stuff. Um, and then, of course, we've got the 4th of July coming up. Um, that is uh, going to be a super fun thing to celebrate. Had to celebrate that. Uh, for those of you um, who are in Canada, Jay, uh, you guys have like Canada Day tomorrow, I think, um, July 1. So uh, it's a fun time to celebrate the beginning of July. Like summer's really kicking off now. It's like in Oregon, we used to, we used to joke that like – summer doesn't really begin here until the 4th of July because used used to be that the weather would be really crappy until about the 4th of July. And we have had the nicest, the nicest spring. Like it feels like it almost feels like Northern California here in Oregon lately. Like this whole year has felt that like that. And I feel like it's been slowly getting like that every year. Maybe it's global, global warming. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm loving it. Like it is just amazing. I'm like Portland is just Wow, it's just been so nice. I'm sure it's been the same for you, Sherry, up in Seattle. Like it's just been a little bit nicer. And you too, Robin. I know you're up in Seattle too. So, um, or near that area. So anyway, um, and then the third thing I'm celebrating today is I am celebrating my car. <laughs> Sounds funny, but I'm going on a road trip after the fourth with my daughter, and we're gonna go see. Speaking of California, we're gonna go see Northern California, and we're taking a road trip down there. So it's gonna be a fun adventure, and uh, we're gonna rely on my car. So I'm like. I'm like really crossing my fingers that my car is going to take good care of us. Um, my car's always been really good to me in the past, like my all my cars that I've had in the past, um, you know, including that big car accident I got in. I feel like my car like protected me. So um, I think I have good good vibes with the cars, and I'm I'm feeling my car is going to take good care of me. And I thought about renting a car to go down there and flying back, but I decided I really wanted to be in my car. And besides, my car has the most amazing stereo system. <laughs> so that's going to be a key. So anyway, let's get to what you guys are celebrating. You guys are chatting it up in the um, chat box. I love it. So let's see. Let's see. Jay saying that it's been forever since you've seen Chuck of I know. Like I said, I've been absent for like a month almost. And he is celebrating unconditional lo loving dogs. I love it. Um, I'm guessing you must be at home um, at Evan's house with Timo, right? Because I think I saw that he was going to Boston or something. So that is cool. Um, and your free version of your EB101 plus bonus video. What is that, Jay? What's your EB101? Is that your new um, email course? Because that's awesome. And I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is, but maybe not. Um, let me know. Because I thought that was a paid thing. So maybe this is a intro to the paid thing and air conditioning, air conditioning is awesome. So I'm wondering, are you getting nice weather up in Canada too? Like we are here in the Pacific Northwest because I don't even think we actually need air conditioning right now, but um, when it gets warm, we need it. Actually last week we had a 90 degree day. It was crazy, crazy 90 degrees. In fact, I was outside like hanging out with my friend, Emily. She had a booth at um, the Tiger Hot Balloon Festival of all places. And it was so hot. We were outside the whole entire day, but we had, we were like in a covered tent. Um, but I like by the end of the day, like came home and I was like, Oh my God, I'm exhausted. It was so dang hot. Anyway, I'm curious. Um, Sherry says she is celebrating two website design by book classes and graphic design. I love it. Design is awesome. I know Jay is a huge fan of um, design and that's so cool. I, um, I am a huge fan of design too. In fact, I met a new designer last couple weeks ago at my chicks thing. So, um, and also, um, Jay has made me a lot more aware of design and some of the principles of design. So I love that. That's awesome. 
and design can help enhance the words on your website and like bring all of them out. And between the two of them, you can have this amazing way to make your customers super happy. Your ideal client, love it. Um, and Sherry saying she made chocolate cake with the kids. So you had chocolate cake for breakfast. I love it. That is the way to start your day, Sherry. Way to go, I love it. Especially with the grandkids. I mean, can't get better than that, right? Um, and Robin is asking about, can you taste the mushrooms? No, you cannot taste the mushrooms. It doesn't taste like, um, like a mushroomy taste, <laughs> which is funny because I normally not a big mushroom fan. Like if you take a mushroom and you make it gourmetish, like with cheese and like olives and stuff like that, like, I think that that can be really yummy, but like put some fresh mushrooms on the salad. It's not my fave. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what, you know, but if it's fancy schmancy, um, with lots of yummy, like, you know, garlics or oils or stuff. I love it. Um, but no, it's, it just tastes like, it tastes like coffee and cocoa. What can I say? And it's full of good benefits. Um, highly recommend these guys. Again, it's the Four Sigmatic and, um, it's a fun little box. You can buy, I know that you can buy it from Amazon too, but they have their own website. Um, I'll put a link for that in the um, chat box below and they're, they're great, great people. I really enjoy the podcast. I'll put the, um, link for the podcast in the link too, because he was much more eloquent as you can imagine talking about his own product, about how good the mushrooms are for you and how, um, energizing and great nutritionally they are for you. So, um, and <laughs> Jay, I want to know if they taste shroomy. They don't taste shroomy, although I don't know if I know how um, uh, shrooms are supposed to taste, other than, like I said, like gourmet, but that's funny. I think it's hilarious. Um, Sherry is saying she learned code before, so you're polishing up and redoing your site completely from code. Wow, Sherry, I didn't know you had those skills. That's amazing. Uh, and you're learning about typography and taking time to pull out the pens and paper. Love it. Love to write with pens and paper too. I'm a huge, obviously you can imagine I'm a big fan of that because I'm a writer. And so I love to, I, but I love the process of both writing with your hands as well as, um, you know, on the computer. So, uh, same thing with design. I love, you know, visual design as well as like in your environment. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Robin saying she hates mushrooms, but she would try it if it doesn't taste roomy. So totally, um, that's great. And Jay is pointing out that yes, I had in the past done 30 videos in 30 days. That was crazy. That's actually kind of when I stopped doing my edited videos because, um, because it was so much, it was so much editing. And although I actually kind of enjoy it, like I, I love the process of the creation of the video. I love the filming. I love the ideas of like, you know, like, oh, I'm have this one scene that goes like this and then like that. Like, I love that. Um, but the actual editing, like, ah, like it's, it gets so particular. Like you have to like, you, just to get it just right the way I want it. Like, I think the problem is I have like this vision and I want to like my vision and then the editing is not as fun. So, but um, I'm super excited because speaking of announcements, I'm going to have edited videos on my channel starting in about two weeks. I already have the plan laid out. Super excited about it. Um, I'm just giving myself time to do some filming and I'm because I'm going on this trip with my daughter, uh, gonna like give myself the time to get all of them together before then. But I'm super excited because back to gonna continue with the live, but also gonna do some more edited videos too. So yay for that. And um, I love it. You said Sherry's also, oh, Jay is saying, okay, sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm reading five things at once. Um, Jay is saying, yes, he's dog sitting Timo and Tristana. Am I saying that right? Is it Tristana or Tristana? Um, I don't even know. That's like Timo's new dog friend, right? Um, and you are also have some bonus video for your SOAR program. Um, and you're putting the link in the chat box. So I'll also put that in the description for those of you who don't have your chat. Cause now, now you can see the chat live i believe but um uh if, for those of you who aren't don't have it turned on or whatever i'll put that in the description below and then sherry is saying that yes you're changing your life and focusing on you and your business and the boys really love chocolate and come through the door <laughs> those boys sound really smart i have to say because like what better can there be uh, other than uh, M&M's. I love it. I love it. That's great. And I totally agree. Robin mushrooms taste like dirt. They totally do. That's why I don't like them in salad. Like they just don't, I, I don't add anything. And I'm not a big fan of like that earthy flavor. Like, you know, like who needs to eat dirt? Like when you can have all these amazing other flavors in your salad. Right. So 
Anywho, well, thank you guys so much for celebrating with me. Um, happy 4th of July, happy Canada Day. Um, I hope that you guys just really enjoy our celebrations this week. And uh, I, I thank you so much to Jason and Sherry and Robin for joining me today. It's so great, great to have you guys here today on, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't sure anyone would be here because I haven't been here for months. So it's really, it makes me feel wonderful that you're here. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful July celebrations and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, bye.